Hello everybody, Seth Kebani here. Now I am trying new ways of editing and so guys, if you have any concern or any feedback, just send it in the comment section and I will review it. Let's step into today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to create this. Okay, so Ctrl N. I'll set the width to 2000, the height to 2000, the resolution to 300. Then I'll go to view. Now let's bring our image in there. Then let's resize it. Hold Alt. I'm going to give it a mask. I'll pick my brush and then I'll set this side to black and then also soft one brush guys and then um, opacity and flu 100% click on the black side and then set your caps block off and then let's mask it okay now let's put it in a group and then let's call it image I like to bring my background as well I'm going to pick a solid color and then I'll pick any reddish color in her dress I feel like this is better and then I'll click on OK I'm going to put it in a group and I'll call it BG but this is not enough I'm going to bring other stuff too as well let me give it a new layer and then let me pick my brush I also hold alt and pick the darkest color in her dress and then brush this side click on my text tool and then type this come and pick seventh copy it and then paste it there now we are going to use this font let's go and set it to la kiest guy I'll come and pick the you know brightest colors in her dress ctrl T and then transform it make it much more bigger push it towards the side duplicate it and then drag it down now I'm going to put it in a group and then I'll call it seven I'll close my background I also like to bring in some few text here I'll type come and bring in plus one then I'll paste it there I'll duplicate it three times one two three duplicate it again for the fourth one I'll drag it down and then paste today paste it in there I'll duplicate it in fact let me resize it <laughs> let me resize all the ones ctrl T let's resize all the ones like this better let's drag it around this side okay now today let's one two three we duplicated it let's select all of them ctrl T and then let's also resize it now you want to bring today this one all the way to somewhere around here and then the one this one drag it a little bit up now you want to select all of it click on your move tool and click on this oh, so the space is quite better maybe you would like to drag this one down a bit more and then select all of them again and then click on that now let's put it in a group let's call it plus one let's open it and then which one is this the last one all right so let's click on it and let's change it to color white which one is this let's click on it let's change it to color white now let's close this one and let's give it a mask pick your brush and then let's mask it now i showed you masking set it to color black and then soft run brush 100 percent 100 percent click on the mask side and then let's clean it now let's set the opacity maybe around 30 percent and then let's mask it like that mask it like that same to this side now it looks quite realistic you also want to bring in some few extras and for that i am going to bring this i'll drag it into photoshop and then i would rotate it that way and drag it there drag it underneath the image you want it to be a line like that on the head and then let's put it in a group then let's call it extra now i'm going to hide it for now i'm also going to bring in this and drag it into photoshop and release it now enter and then i'm going to mask it i'll go to filter i'll go to blur and i'll go to gaussian blur and then i'm going to set it to 107 click on ok i'll go to the blending mode and set it to soft light now with this i'm going to bring it in now and then i'm going to give it a mask then i'll pick my brush click on the mask set the caps lock off and then let's set the opacity all the way to 100 then let's mask this side now i still feel like we should drag it down great let's go and set it to soft light as well awesome let's close the extra let's drag this also into it now let's bring in the date i'm going to click on my text to then i'll type this side and then i'm going to bring in um seven paste it there then drag it somewhere here i'll duplicate it and then bring in august then i'll paste it there now let's resize august all right let's also come and pick our ellipse tool 
hold shift and then let's create a perfect circle awesome and then let's set the stroke of the fill let's set the color white and then let's drag it in here now let's set these colors let's go and then let's choose maybe this background color or we could even pick a darkish color now put it in a group call it text select this hold ctrl and click on it now come and select the text and then click on your move tool and then click on this and then click on that ctrl d to deselect it and let's precise everything for let's put everything in a group like this let's call it date ctrl t and then let's resize it or rescale it and then drag it around this side so we are done with that i want to drag let's go let's go to seven i want to drag it a little bit this side and then i also want to give it a mask pick my brush set the caps lock off increase the size set this side to color black and then let's reduce your opacity now i want to brush that side and brush this side as well brush this side okay so it gives it a little bit depth let's bring in our happy birthday to this side and then let's come and pick happy birthday and then let's paste it there now i'm going to drag it all the way up for the happy birthday i am going to use a font that i think i've been used before i'm going to use ruth legos and then i'll click on my move tool and then move it somewhere here Control t perhaps i'll move my image up all right and then Beverly move it down a bit okay now i also want to pick a brightish color so i'm going to pick maybe around there and then i'm also going to give it a little bit of uh, drop shadow i'll click here and then i'm going to set it to normal i'll pick here and pick maybe any darkish color shadow color in there and then i am also going to set it to the opacity to 100 the uh, angle let's give the angle 26 and then the distance let's give the distance 11 and then the spread let's make it 4 and then the size let's make it 46 let's click here and let's pick this contour and that is it let's click on okay click on your text and then let's type there again i'm going to pick the name of the client and i'm going to paste it there but this time i'm going to use lato lato black everything is going to be in the description for you guys now I'll click here and choose color white so you can see i'm using two colors throughout i'm using just red and color white and these two colors are made it stand out more enter and then let's move it there all right so let's put it in a group let's call it hbd now we are we are almost done but we need to bring in some few stuff i'm going to bring in this one um i feel like it gives it a little bit motion i feel like it gives it a little bit motion and action going on so i'm going to drag it in there and then i'll drag this side here maybe i resize it more and drag it in there okay now let's go to filter let's go to blur and then let's go to motion blur and then minus 46 and then 40 here and then that is it click on okay now duplicate it and then click on your move tool and then move it there i'll reduce your opacity a little bit to so blend it in the background and that is it now i still feel like the image is not standing out so i'm going to click there and then i would reduce it come down a little bit that way the image stands out a bit more you could also give it a little glow in the background uh, but everything is okay like this now i'm going to put this two in a group and then i'll call it ray bin let's close everything all right so let's merge everything together Control alt shift and then e right click it and then let's convert it to smart object now let's go to filter let's go to our camera raw filter now, i'm not going to do much um tweaking here i'm just going to set the exposure to maybe one and then the contrast i'll drag it down to around 12 or 10 and then the highlights i'll drag it down to 50 something and then the whites i'll drag it down now, i'm doing this because of the bright face so around 60 something and then the blacks i'll drag it down to 20 something and then um that is it i'll leave maybe drag the texture and the clarity up a bit more and that is it let's close the basics and then let's go to effect i'll drag the green up to around 13 and then i'll definite i'll drag it down to around 12 or 11 and then let's click on ok so before and after but then i feel like there's too much glow on the face the face is too exposed to light and so i'm going to mask it out 
and then I'll click on the face set the opacity to 100 I'll mask the face and guys this is how you create something like this now if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel guys I love you all guys see you in the next video